Hey guys, welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series. In this chapter, um, I will demonstrate how can we save data on an alternative Excel workbook. By that, I mean on a different Excel workbook using Excel VBA. While we save this data, I will also capture the time that it has taken to execute the code and to save data on a different workbook, which we will later compare with the other methods and other programs where we could save data using Excel VBA. Now, um, let's jump down to the Developers tab and Visual Basic. Now, these two things that I've highlighted, it's just to capture the time that it takes to save data, um, so you can ignore that for now. To begin with, you may want to define a path as a string. The path should be nothing but the workbook where you want to save your data. So, in my case, I'm saving data in user database is the workbook's name. I will right click on that workbook, select properties and I will copy the path location as given over here. After which what I need to mention is the name of the workbook and the workbook extension type which for me is .xls. Now that I've got the path, I will open the workbook. But before I open the workbook, I will turn off my application screen updating to false so that when the workbook opens up, a user shouldn't be able to see it. Now, um, what I will do is I will say workbooks.open and I will put the path. The path is nothing but the path that I've assigned my, where my workbook is stored. Now, I would need to open my backend workbook to see where is it that I want to save the data. So, I want to save the data in the sheet called dump. So, in that case, I will come down to my code, I will write um, active workbook dot sheets. So, I will have to actually define a range to find the last row on the workbook that we've opened using the workbooks open function. So, I will say set my range equal to active workbook um, dot sheets um, dump, which is the sheet name where we will be saving data dot cells. Um, rows.count which will count down to 65,000 plus in the first column and then we are scrolling up from that row till, up, till top wherever there is data. So for example, it will scroll up this way and then it will select the next cell as we will put an offset um, by one row. Um, now that we've got our range, we can say um, my range dot value equal to um, this workbook dot sheets um, the current sheet that we are on on our workbook which is called saving data um, um, dot cells um, the value which is on the second row and first column the so second row and first column dot value and um, um, then we will say um, my range dot offset which is um, one column on the right dot value equal to the current workbook um, second row and the second column value. So this should pretty much save our data onto that workbook. Finally, you may want to say active workbook dot close save changes equal to false. And finally, what we will do is um, we will turn back the application dot screen updating to true and we will put the value in range h2 that it's taken to complete the execution so we will say range h2 dot value equal to end time minus start time is what I've defined you can ignore this part of the code now let's just um, save this and let's run this execution where our data will be saved um, and also just before that um, okay we have to change save changes to true because we want to save the backend workbook. Now let me just close down this backend workbook and let me run this code right now by, by assigning it um, to um, this button right here. So let's click on this guys. That workbook has opened up. The data saved and we took about um, 2137 which is close to 2.1 seconds that it took us to save data. Let us open the backend workbook now and see if our data is saved. And as we can see, the data is saved as expected, guys. So this is pretty much how we could save data on an Excel workbook using Excel VBA. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Take care.